Hi everyone, Boomer here today in the Dream Giveaway Garage. And today we wanted to take you through a walk around on this beautiful 70 Chevelle SS. Uh, as you know, some of you have already seen this car. Uh, if you're seeing it for the first time, let me tell you what it is. This is a 1970 Chevelle SS 454. Yes, it is an LS6 car. It has the M22 four speed in it manual transmission. It also has the optional 410 rear gear in it. So this is a kind of a rarely optioned car. One of the first things you notice about this car is the color. Uh, the color is actually called desert sand. It's gold with the black stripes. The car has been beautifully restored. This is a 44,000 original mile car with an absolutely perfect restoration done on it. Paint's been redone, suspension's redone, all these things have been redone on this car, and it shows amazing. So uh, before we pop the hood, let's start here. Some of the 70 Chevelles had these chrome uh, headlight rings in them. These things are hard to find. Uh, they're beautiful on these cars. This one just happened to have it. So. Uh, obviously, you can see the cowl induction hood, perfect for the 454 Chevelles. So, tell you what, let's pop the hood and show you what's up underneath here. All right, underneath the hood of this beautiful car, you've got a 454 LS6 motor. Uh, Chevy rated these things about uh, 375 horse from the, from the factory. Uh, real deal on these is they're probably making 425, 450, depending on how guys are, are tweaking them a little bit. You might even be able to get a little more out of it. But this thing is absolutely beautiful underneath the hood. Uh, the welting is all correct. The paint's all correct. Uh, it's in gorgeous Chevy orange under here. Uh, you've got your, your Delco reproduction battery. Uh, one thing about this car, uh, it did not come with factory power steering. So the last owner decided that if I'm gonna drive this car around a little bit, and he did drive it a little bit, he wanted to add power steering to the car. Well, that was done with NOS, new old stock parts. So this car now has a factory looking with NOS parts power steering setup in it. And I will tell you, it makes it drive just so much better. This thing is an absolute pleasure to drive. But everything else up under here, all looks good. It's all correct. It all works. And it is a blast to drive. So uh, what we're going to do now is I'm going to close up the hood and we're gonna go around and we'll jump inside and I'll show you some of the features on the inside. All right, so before we jump in the car, I wanted to point out a couple things as we're standing up here in the front. Obviously, you've got the, uh, the 14 inch uh, beautiful Rally SS wheels on this thing. They are gorgeous. You've got the correct badging uh, and just the lines on this car are spectacular. Everything fits very, very well. Uh, you can see the chrome. Hopefully you can see the chrome. All this chrome is, is beautiful. Uh, just an, a gorgeous car. This gold color, some people like it. Some people don't like it. Uh, I like it. I, you don't see gold cars anymore, really. I think Cadillac still makes a few. But mostly everybody's gone away from gold. And man, let me tell you, what? When you get this thing in the sunlight, the color just bursts out of this car. It, you know, it, it attracts people. People are coming up and they're like, oh my God, what a beautiful car. Well, yeah, it is. I mean, we, we tell you this all the time. It's hard to appreciate a car in a, a film like this. It looks good. It looks good on camera, but man, in person, this thing is phenomenal. So, all right, tell you what, let's jump in and we'll go through some of the stuff on the inside and then maybe we'll even fire it up. We're in sitting inside the 70 Chevelle now, and uh, I, I tell you, I, what a gorgeous car this is. You just got to get in it to feel it, to it take you back to 1970. Um, this car was, when this car was redone, 
they spared no expense. They did everything the way it was supposed to have been done. As you can see, steering wheel is perfect. No cracks, no anything. Gauges are perfect. Dash pad fits wonderfully, no cracks. Headliner is taut and beautiful. Um, I don't know if you can see over here, the door panels themselves, got the SS symbols in the door panels. They are fantastic. Um, you know, I dropped my knees down here. There's the shifter. This Muncie four speed, the old rock crusher four speed, this shifter, and I know we've talked about this before, but it's worth talking about again. Uh, this shifter, this style of shifter only came in the bench seat cars. Uh, the SS's had consoles in them, they, uh, the, bu the option bucket seats with a console. You got a completely different shifter than this shifter and it is really cool. It's got this weird funky angle on it that comes up and over the seat so that you can you know, shift while you've got this big bench seat sitting here in the way. Um, but you know everything else in here, it, it all works like it's supposed to work. You've got the SS dash set up. You've got your tack, you've got your speedo, you've got your clock, your gauges are up here. You've got your cigarette lighter, which I'll push in because it actually still works. Um, uh, it still works, it's, it's a reproduction, but it's, it, we make it all work. So tell you what let's do. Uh, I know a lot of people wanna hear this thing run, so what I'll do is I will fire this thing up and uh, we'll see what we get out of it. There we go. First time. And she idles right out. Man, I'll tell you, whoever rebuilt this motor on this car did an unbelievable job. It is absolutely rock solid smooth. You get the little lope from the cam. You know, when you hit the accelerator, it comes right up. There you go. Uh, the cowl induction, it's cool to see the, the cowl induction flip up and down on this thing. It's just an amazing, amazing piece of, this is a piece of rolling art now is really what it is. Um, so, I mean, even the little, you've got the, the ventilation that comes up underneath in the, in, the, in the kick panels, all of that stuff is still gorgeous. The carpet is beautiful. So. Um, tell you what, uh, what we'll do now is uh, we'll, I'll jump out of this thing and let's go, we're going to walk around back and I'm going to open up the trunk for you and I'll show you what it looks like in there. So let's take a look at that. All right, we're back here at the back of this 70 Chevelle SS 454. Again, paint absolutely gorgeous. The stripes are in perfect, perfect condition. Um, and so let's pop the trunk on this thing and take a look inside. And what you have when you open this up is you've got the correct stickers back here the way they're supposed to be. You've got a original spare. The original jack is here. The original trunk liner is in here. And the splatter paint is all done the way it's supposed to be. Uh, just a gorgeous, gorgeously uh, done uh, trunk. I, a lot of people are going to go, a gorgeous done trunk, what the hell are you talking about? Well, you know what? These cars are so perfect. If you get something like this wrong, it really stands out. So, I mean, this thing is beautiful. The rubber's all brand new. And then when you close the trunk, man, you just don't get that anymore. That is amazing. It, it's an amazing car. So, tell you what we'll do now. We'll just take a walk back around up front and uh, talk about just a couple other things and then we'll uh, close this out. So this is the third Chevelle that we've done here at Dream Giveaway. Uh, last year's was a beautiful 396 L78 car. This one is, God, this car is a home run in my book. 70 Chevelle SS 454 LS6, four speed M22, 410 gear. It, it's just an amazing, amazing car. So, what we want you to do is go over to dreamgiveaway.com, enter to win, you could win this beautiful Chevelle, and all the money that you donate goes to help seven great charities. So go over to, go over to dreamgiveaway.com, get your tickets. Remember, as I always say, enter early and enter often. You're not gonna wanna miss your chance to win this unbelievable 
454 Chevelle SS. Uh, so go to dreamgiveaway.com now, get your tickets, and we'll see you next time in the Dream Giveaway Garage.